The Huntingtonian, the campus newspaper. We see it laying around, but how does it get there? Who's behind it? The person in charge of putting it together is the editor-in-chief, Mandy Kent. As editor, first of all, I'm in charge of managing a staff. I have um, six other section editors, and I have to make sure that they know what to do, um, sort of give them to-do lists weekly, things to keep up on. And then also I'm in charge of organizing story planning meetings uh, where we send out campus-wide emails to invite anyone who wants to get involved. And then with the website, uh, making sure it's staying updated, um, making sure my staff is getting everything uploaded and posted on time. A huge part of the Huntingtonian is the website, which they update regularly. Sarah Johnson, the features editor, walked me through the process, which involves several editing steps. Each article is edited by several people, then added to the word template they use for the website. Headlines, tags and slugs, and other elements are added, along with a photo before the article can be put online. But the process for preparing for a print issue is a little more involved. The first thing we do when we are getting ready for an issue is we'll have a story planning meeting where we send out campus-wide emails, invite anyone to come. Um, we have a dry erase board down here in the office and we list out every story idea that's presented. Once the stories are assigned, deadlines are given for when they need to be turned in. Everyone sends their stories to me, then I send it to a section editor. Each page has a section editor. Brandon Borders is the editor for the Arts and Entertainment page, which includes several different elements. You'll always see the movie reviews, um, and then it kind of rotates between a restaurant review um, or perhaps a preview for an upcoming show. Jan Boroff, the sports editor, is constantly working at keeping her page up to date with changing scores, records, and games for the sports teams. Most of the time I still have to rewrite the beginnings to like add in games or add in like scores of matches and things like that um, so that they're up to date and current. The on-campus page contains the overheard on-campus section as well as the comics. Editor Lucy Lutke explains how the comics were picked. We had people apply at the beginning of the year and Mandy and I looked at the comics and then we chose, you know, who we thought was best. The news pages are also a challenge to keep up to date, which is why the website is so important, as news editor Shelley Bradbury explains. We really focus more on the website than we do on the print paper, because the print paper only comes out six times a year, but the website's 24-7. So with that and working with multimedia, that's something that I can use in my future career. The opinion page contains three columnist sections. Before the year starts, we hire columnists, so there's three columnists. Um, Joel Bain, Rachel Bingham, and Andrew Martin. Once all the articles are compiled and placed on a page of the paper, each page is printed out and is edited and revised by three separate editors. Once that is done, the editor-in-chief receives the articles. They uh, staple all the edited pages together and put it in my basket for me, and then I'm ready to edit. So I get it and uh, I get my red pen out and I make them bleed. <laughs> After making the final adjustments to each page, Mandy submits each page electronically to the printing company to print the papers. I go pick them up, bring them back here, and then on Thursday uh, during chapel, I'll have two or three staff members who are free go around and distribute them on campus. While the process of putting together an issue of the Huntingtonian is time-consuming, Mandy says the staff works well together. We're, we really have a very strong team this year on staff, and that has been wonderful. The editors each work hard and help each other out. The thing is, is that the Huntingtonian staff, we just have really great chemistry. Like, we all work well together. We know who's doing what. The staff calls themselves a family and even have family dinners together while working on an issue of the paper. They've built close, lasting relationships. We've all gotten really close and I've just become even best friends with some of these people. Mandy encourages anyone to get involved with the paper, even if you aren't experienced. So we're really trying to help people realize that you don't have to be a great writer to try this out. Anyone can, can get a few quotes and uh, get a few facts and put it together and, and we'll help along the way with editing and try to make it a great piece.